Hey guys, it's uh, Dan from Combat Airsoft. Uh, first, I want to apologize on behalf of me and Chris for not having many videos out lately. Our last one was over a month ago. And uh, we've been busy, you know. I've worked, Chris has his other channel, we both have school, and uh, a lot of girls. Just kidding. Um, but we're going to try and do our best to get more videos out and. Uh, so uh, make sure you stay subscribed, and uh, let's cut to the video. Alright guys, this video is just going to be some quick updates on the bunker. We made some improvements. First off, this is just a really small one, but put some more cover right here on the shed. I'm sure you guys saw in our one of our war videos from the last time we had a war. Um, the shed was used a lot by me, Chris, and uh, some of our friends. Another which I want to show you guys. You guys remember these two bunker, these two um, trenches with the bricks? Well, we actually dug out the side, so it's a lot easier to uh, move from one to the other. Because I'm sure you guys saw also in the last war video, uh, a lot of people had to get out on the side over there, like risk getting hit and then crawl back into that one, and it was just a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm going to hop in here. This is the view from the inside. Nice and easy. You don't have to get out. Risk getting hit. But we actually connected it to the other part of the trench too. So you can walk throughout the whole trench system we dug without getting out. Um, huge improvement. And I'm sure... It's going to come in great use and uh, definitely a great addition to the bunker. More small improvements we made was um, back here by the tree bunker on the other side of the field. We, um, we definitely improved these walls right here. We made it <laughs> a lot more, uh, oh, I, I should say a lot better coverage for the people back here because um Chris and the other teams were arguing that uh it wasn't fair for everyone to start on this side because it's they had a much bigger chance of getting hit than if you start over there where the bunkers and we also just put this back here behind the wall for snipers a huge improvement probably the biggest improvement we've made to the bunker since you guys have last seen is this It's a sniping tower. We're gonna put, um, kind of, well, we're gonna put camouflage covering over it, and, uh, let me climb up there and give you guys a good view, but, alright, let's climb up. I'm just gonna put the camera down for a sec, guys, while I climb up. Alright, we're up. Um, I'm not exactly sure how high up we are, but, uh, I'd, <laughs> probably about 20 feet. We're up in the tree. As you got amazing view from here. Um, insanely good sniping spot. We're gonna get some coverage hanging down like we did down on the wall down there from the tree so the sniper's not exposed. And we're going to get the covering, but this has a nice shooting bench, which I'm sending out right now. And, uh, just a nice little crate floor. Uh, we got it tied up here to the tree. Don't worry, guys, it's secure. We didn't just tie it with a rope. We know what we were doing. And, uh, this is probably the biggest improvement to the bunker. I'm sure you guys would agree. You can outlook the whole yard from here. And, uh, instead of the sniper being down there, and being exposed, he's going to be up here and have a bird's eye view of everything. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Um, Dan from Kabavish, I'm signing off. But, uh, 
Make sure you comment on the improvements we did. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you think we should add anything. And if we think it's a good idea, we'll add it. Um, if you have any ideas for um, upcoming videos, especially during the winter, because uh, we live up here in New York, so it gets really cold, and uh, we probably won't be doing battles very often. So if you have any ideas for a video, uh, comment or message us, and uh, we'll be happy to take your suggestion into mind. And uh, thank you guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.